guys, this is Dustin here. I'm the head coach of Super Fit Fitness. And today I'm here to train a special person. Ooh, almost missed it. Uh, the owner of this belt, Danny. He's a professional fighter and he's been fighting for over 10 years already, including bringing this belt back from Thailand last year. So we have three circuits in total for Danny. The first one we did, we had two movements, one upper body, one lower body. So I like to keep the strength and then the heavy stuff in the very beginning. It takes a lot of toll in your body. You want to have maximum strength reserved for all the heavy stuff. Otherwise, when you do it later on, you're going to be all tired out. It doesn't help you out when you actually build that muscle. First one we did was a cyclist squat. We're looking to get that quads build up. All fighters need to have a good base to perform, to kick, to move, to last the, all that rounds. We raise our heel up a little bit so we can build a deeper squat. So we can get a little lower, so we can hit our VMO a little more. VMO is this little muscle right here. It's kind of hard to train. There's no specific movement that you can actually train the VMO. So by raising our heel, getting a little more of a depth, we can definitely strengthen that up. It's going to help one's knee joints and stability. We're going to be using a kettlebell on one hand as a one hand carry. It's going to be forcing your body to counter rotate, to counter balance yourself so you're not going to fall over. So you're engaging a lot more in your obliques on one side unilaterally. Come on, stay upright exactly. Knees facing out a little bit. Don't buckle your knees. So right now, Danny's really having trouble using his right side. It's a lot harder. So you really got to use his right obliques. Stabilize yourself. Watch his knees right now. His knees are not buckling. His knees are keeping it straight and he's keeping good balance going straight up. Using All guys love bench press. Or you can't go for a workout without any bench press. As we're doing the bench press, I have a little twist for him. I'm lying on a platform doing a glute bridge, fully engages glutes, fully to engage his posterior chain. The glute bridge bench press is an excellent workout for full body tension and for speed and more techniques overall. You don't want a fire to get too big, especially he's a lighter weight, he's a featherweight. It's going to restrict his movement. You want lean muscle and you want to be explosive as much as possible. His shoulders are down, he's pushing straight up with a very good amount of explosiveness. His legs are engaged, his glutes are engaged, his core is engaged. That's something that people really neglect and forget about when they do classic bench press. So this is a really good form check and a corrective exercise. in terms of conditioning and endurance uh, that we're working on right now. So the first one we did, we got Danny to do was a sled push. But usually a sled push is done mainly with your legs, pushing with your legs. But this time I got Danny to push with his arm, with his, with his shoulders and with his chest to get better mobility, better strength, better explosiveness on his shoulder and his chest. So that's going to translate into boom, 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 his combos. second we did was power for him. Danny is going for 20 straight kicks. What we're looking to build on here is strength and stamina in terms of explosive as fast and as hard as he can. Working on his endurance on how fast, how strong he can kick continuously. I always like to bring him back to court. So these resistance bands were awesome to help him out to do a dead bug. Well, the variation I got him to do was a pal off. So I got him to do from the side. Now, when the band is pulling from this side, your obliques being fired up to not turn over. All right. So as he's doing dead bug, he's trying to resist not to fall over to one side. So you really got to engage one side of his obliques to maintain strength and at the same time perform the same exercise to build off on that. 
you should be able to tell which side is going to be a little on a little bit of off and we're going to be using it translating it into your workouts and your, your fights because you don't want your left side and your right side to have a different amount of strength in turning kicks and so these are definitely great to improve on those areas for you. Your whole core is being used right now just to keep yourself balanced. You can do this at home with any resistance band. Arm is straight, your legs are scored all the way out, back is all the way down the floor and that resistance band is just pulling you. Final circuit that we have for him, we're now looking for endurance and resistance work. First one, we're gonna have a resistance band around his waist. Now we're working on his first step. What I'm gonna try to get him to do is, he's, as fast as he can, one step into his opponent and strike him. So I'm gonna keep pulling him, making sure that he can't get there, so he's really gotta use his legs and then push, went into it continuously. So that's gonna help him out when he's tired when he not, even when he's beginning the match, he's like, you're gonna surprise your opponent right there with a really quick first step. Tons of explosive them into your target, and it's also gonna translate into yourself as we do this for multiple reps. It's gonna help you out in the later rounds of the fight as well. The next move we did was a frog jump. It's like classic conditioning work move. So I prefer keeping things a little lighter in the later, uh, later part of the program just to help out ease a little more in, on the, the stress on your body. So we can try to minimize and prevent injuries during workouts. As well. I still want to push him though. I still want him to work on his legs because that's still, like I said, the most important thing for all fighters. So I got him to jump back and forth. Last chance to build on his legs, his strength, and his endurance. Last and final move, going back to our core. Usually it's pretty hard to target. People have trouble targeting with their lower abs, but we need that to have better leg drive. What I've gotten to do was a hanging leg raise. Raise our legs, but not just stop there. We want to bring our knees up, tuck our butt upwards. So the more you curl your butt up there, the more engagement you have on your lower abs. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. Four. Five. There you go. That was the end of Danny's day one's workout. If you like the workout, I'll definitely include the whole program in the description below. This workout is aiming to help you to improve on your core strength, stability, improve your explosiveness, as well as conditioning. If this is the way you're looking for to improve, Definitely try this routine and let me know how you feel about them. And if you like this kind of fighting workouts, definitely stay tuned for part two of the three part series that I work with Danny by giving me a like. Also subscribe to my channel for more future workouts like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.